Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for our opening day ceremonial first pitches. This afternoon, we are pleased to welcome three special guests to do the honors. Our first guest has been a public servant for more than 15 years. She began her career as an elected official on the Baltimore City Council, and she went on to serve in the Maryland General Assembly for 11 years, rising to the rank of Senate Majority Leader. She's been a champion for the residents and businesses of our community, and in December, she was sworn in as the 50th mayor of the city of Baltimore. Fans, let's welcome in a big round of applause for Mayor Catherine Pugh. Madam Mayor. And joining Mayor Pugh is a 19-year member of the Maryland General Assembly. He served for eight years in the House of Delegates and was elected to the Maryland State Senate in 2006. He currently serves as the chair of the Judicial Proceedings Committee. He's a strong advocate for Baltimore County in the 11th District, making a positive district in the community and for our state. And he's a huge Orioles fan. Please give a warm welcome to Maryland State Senator Bobby Zirkin. And finally, if you've listened to Orioles games on the radio over the past, well, two and a half decades, you've undoubtedly heard this man's made-for-broadcasting voice. He's a local kid from Baltimore, graduate of Patterson High, who in the midst of a successful sports broadcasting career, landed his dream job in 1993 with the Orioles, getting to announce for his hometown team all the games on the radio, and even calling several games with his childhood idol, Hall of Famer Chuck Thompson. He's been broadcasting Orioles games ever since, 24 years to be exact. And while he's now retired from full-time duties, he's graciously agreed to call select home games again this season. Please join me in welcoming one of my broadcast partners and one of the nicest and most humble people, Fred Mafra. Okay, helping us out, Donnie Hart, Trey Mancini, and Oliver Drake. It is your first pitches. 